చాలా స్పోకెన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ కోర్సెస్ ఏంటంటే గ్రామర్ పైన ఎక్కువ ఫోకస్ చేస్తారు విచ్ ఈస్ గుడ్ కానీ రిమెంబరింగ్ అనేది చాలా ముఖ్యమైన అంశం మీరు సెంటెన్స్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ని ఎలా గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి సెంటెన్సెస్ని ఎలా గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి అని ఒక మెథడ్ ఉంటుంది ఆ మెథడ్ అర్థం చేసుకున్న వాళ్ళకి చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి ఇంగ్లీష్ గ్రామర్ అర్థం కాగానే మాట్లాడడం కూడా సులువుగా వచ్చేస్తుంది కొంతమందికి గ్రామర్ బాగా వస్తుంది కానీ మాట్లాడడం ప్రాబ్లం ఉంటుంది ఎందుకంటే వాళ్ళు రిమెంబరింగ్ పైన ఫోకస్ చేయలేదు ఇన్ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఏ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ కూడా ఫోకస్ చేయదు సో మెమరీ టెక్నిక్స్ ఎలా ఉంటాయి అవి ఎందుకు నేర్చుకోవాలి ఆ సెంటెన్స్ రిమెంబరింగ్ టెక్నిక్ తెలుగులో బాగా మంచిగా నేర్పిస్తాను ఈ వీడియోని పూర్తిగా చేయండి అలానే దీని తర్వాత ఉన్న వీడియోస్ కూడా ప్లేలిస్ట్లో పూర్తిగా చూడండి Hi, welcome to Kevin's Spoken English. In this class, we're going to talk about a technique to remember. I'm going to help you learn a technique to remember, uh, which is called Memory Module Network, MMN for short. There are certain rules that you must follow to make most of this class. Have a book ready with the date and heading. MMN memory module network and when you see this symbol you are required to write the contents of that slide however if you feel uh, you want to write down a certain slide for better understanding you are free to do so so why do i need MMN now most spoken english courses teach you grammar rules and syntax and more often how to translate right but what if you could not remember all those now as a kid we pick up sentence structures and remember them as we keep listening the same sentences often now that's how it helps us to remember so much however mmn supplements the same technique to you so that you can remember the sentences and the translations being taught to you this technique also shall help you to frame your own sentences easily later as we progress into the course so therefore you need to learn this technique this is all about remembering spoken english classes do not teach about remembering and therefore there is a major learning gap in their system however when we are doing with kevin's complete language learning system we are trying to incorporate a learning uh, technique with a remembering technique so that you can remember everything that you are learning plus the translations that you make plus how to frame your own sentences now this gets interesting as you try to learn so let's get started so the rules for mmn is what i will start with now by this time uh, following along the kevin's videos on youtube you know the parts of speech adjective nouns pronouns verb preposition conjunction interjection now if you see the order here this is the usual order taught in schools however we are going to learn a very new order and grouping for parts of speech we are not going to learn it this way that's the first step with mmn we will learn how to group the parts of speech in a different order so we shall learn the binder concept now now binder concept is what shall help us group the parts of speech in a new way we have three binder sets noun binder adjective binder and a verb binder what is a binder now that's the question that's already in your mind a binder is nothing but a word uh, that will always come attached before the noun adjective or verb mentioned for example when we say noun binder now we have words like here like see you know, a and the of so whenever we say that a and the of these are non binders so what do we mean by that so when you see a within a sentence it is usually followed by a noun so same goes with and the of 
so whenever they occur in a sentence they are usually binded with a noun therefore we call them as noun binders now similarly with verb binders now, verb binders we have adverbs and to so what do we mean by that whenever you see the word to chances are that you will get a verb after that therefore to is a verb binder so if you see an adverb chances are it is coming with a verb therefore adverb is a verb binder so what we mean by binder is when we say noun binder there are certain words that when they occur you will get a noun if it's a verb binder and you have these words called as verb binders when they occur within a sentence they are usually attached to a verb the same goes for adjective binder also you get an adjective binder they are usually with an adjective got it so uh, i want you to uh, make a separate page where we will write something like this you know this is the mmn rules page okay we're going to make a uh, uh, two pages okay one is the mmn rules page and then the mmn segments page i want you to allocate a page uh, which which will uh, you don't have to write this now uh, i will make you write eventually but after completion of this video this is how your uh, mmn rules page will look like so uh, you don't have to write this what you see here we will uh, learn uh, each of these binders and we will mention them in the binders page as we do along so let us start with the first noun binder the first one is called articles a and the now as we mentioned before uh, it means that whenever you see these words a and the they will immediately be followed by a noun like you can see here a car the prince an affirmation now affirmation is a noun because i see shun t i o n shun shun is a suffix for noun so therefore even that's a noun so the point is whenever you see articles they are usually immediately or not but they are usually followed by a noun so therefore we call articles as noun binders okay so also observe this a car the prince an affirmation but i have uh, included adjectives here blue is an adjective charming is an adjective cordial is also an adjective so what i am trying to do here is looking at this example before i can safely say that articles are non binders and now i can also say that adjectives are also non binders because when you have an adjective you will get a noun now what i'm trying to do is i'm combining adjectives and articles together and this is what i get a blue car the charming prince and cordial affirmation now there's an article binder and also there's an adjective binder to the noun so what you got to do is what you see here are the segment rules i want you to write this in the page that you have marked as segment segments mmn segments write these segments so what do you mean by a segment is a segment is a part a part of a sentence in which we are grouping the respective binders and the word which is a noun adjective or verb together now that's a segment now in this case the segment is like a blue car a blue car is a segment to us why because we are grouping all the noun binders with its noun noun with its binders is a segment verbs with its binders is a segment adjective with its binders is also a segment now we have rules for segments that we are trying to learn as we progress into this video i want you to mention the segments that you are picking up in this separate page that you have made for segments okay write this in the segments page okay so now come back to the mmn rules page and under noun binders 
just write a and the so that now we know that a and the are non binders okay and ensure you're filling the right ones in the right pages these are the binders page and those are the segments page so we're writing this under binders right okay uh now the next rule is adjective as we saw earlier like see these are the nouns hunger boy development kindness now they can come with an adjective like this like severe hunger good boy quick development tender kindness now what we do is we usually underline it like this because that's a complete noun segment a binder with its noun is a segment so here the binder is adjective and noun so this is an mmn segment and i want you to write adjective and noun in the segments page also you may write these examples in your notes so consider the same nouns again hunger boy development and kindness now this time with the same four nouns i am rewriting them with a pronoun attached his hunger my boy their development her kindness so as you can see a pronoun and in this case this is a pronoun too actually so a pronoun too a pronoun too can come with a noun therefore pronoun too is a noun binder so see as i mentioned here these are the pronoun to right okay but these are considered non binders because they always come with a noun attached so uh, mention adjective and pronoun under noun binders in the binders page and also in the segments page you can actually mention that pronoun and noun is a seg is a segment so now let's try to do uh, something called as compound mmn rules now compound the word compound means combining more than one rule so we already know that article is a non binder adjective is a non binder pronoun too is also a non binder now what i'm trying to do is i will try to combine these rules and make bigger and newer segments so like, now we have a non basic known as car which comes with pronoun my i'm trying to add my plus an adjective blue and all this still are binded to car only but the entire segment is my blue car my blue car is a segment what is this segment it's a pronoun adjective noun segment i don't have to remember this big name as pronoun adjective noun segment i can simply understand that yes there is just one noun here and there could be multiple binders you know it could be an article it could be an adjective or it could be a pronoun or maybe a combination of these a compound rules of this but yes the idea is very simple that sometimes mmn segments uh, can borrow rules from different binders and make, make better and bigger segments like this now see it sounds much better to look at this one than just saying hunger or my hunger but when i say my severe hunger it adds more detail it's more uh, comprehensive and it it's bigger and better that's where compound mmn rules help us this is how actually we can make better conditional sentences also okay now let's see this one care i can just simply add an adjective and say care or now i can add both pronoun and adjective and i can say are good care okay so what's the compound uh, mmn rule here you can you can mention pronoun adjective noun in the segments page okay or uh, okay write write this down first write the pronoun adjective noun as a new compound mmn segment in the segments page so the next compound rule that we are trying to see at is all right uh 
we already know that article and adjective are non binders now i'm trying to combine them both like this lion the lion the fierce lion or an informative book now that's one single segment now the, the main part of the segment is the noun as such i have two binders here so i understand it like this but i look at an informative book as one segment and that means i'm treating it as one word i'm treating it as one word a segment is equals to one word that's how i treat it maybe it's made up of a uh, three to five words but still we'll treat it as one word all i'm looking at here is a book which is just one book and it's an informative book a book which has information lots of information so uh, when i when i read the segment an informative book i'm only looking at just one book but the words or the binders and an informative are adding more details to that okay so next one is enrollment the enrollment the immediate enrollment now if you see how they become bigger and better and add more meaning add more detail it makes it more comprehensive so that's the beauty of mmn rules and mmn segments you can just have a noun you can just have a verb or adjective and you can make them bigger and better just by adding all the binders you know in a more creative and meaningful manner so what are we trying to combine here as we are trying to combine articles and adjectives and we are binding them to the noun so that's another segment rule that you can mention in your segments page article adjective and noun so uh, from what we have learned so far these are the segments article noun is a segment adjective noun is a segment and pronoun to is a segment the compound segments are article adjective noun and pronoun adjective noun this is how your segments page would look by now right so let's take few examples here now this is a sentence the quick rabbit emerged from the bushes now you have to round off the nouns immediately okay so we have a noun here now if you notice the quick rabbit that's a noun segment right article adjective noun these are binders to this noun so i'll treat the quick rabbit and therefore it's colored in blue the quick rabbit is uh, you must train your eyes now to see the quick rabbit as one word there's just not rabbit here there's the quick rabbit that's how you must train your eyes now and that's how you will see things according to mmn and read and uh, also remember better okay So let's consider a few more examples that help us to train our eyes to locate the noun binders and segments. We have three sentences here. The Chinese army invaded the frontiers. Our national flag must be respected. Their humble support evoked a better response. Now in these three sentences, if you see this is clearly the noun segment we have the nouns army is a noun flag is a noun support is a noun the is a binder r is a pronoun binder and there is also pronoun binder and we have adjective binders also uh, coming along with the pronoun or article so that's how we are compounding the rules and making the bigger noun segment we must train our eyes to read this segment as one word the chinese army is a one word you don't break it the chinese army invaded the frontiers but well, that's a wrong way of reading the chinese army our national flag their humble support now the segment is read in a single breath So continuing with the MMN rules, the next noun binder that we are trying to learn is comma and off. Okay, and comma and off. So consider the uh, way these nouns become this big. Now I'm just starting with John, and finally you can see that you know we have a very big segment here. Okay, 
I'll just explain how a single word John in the pedaga allow to me. So John is a noun and we know that bound binders can be attached to John. So what I'm trying to do, uh, I'm attaching uh, adjective good with John because adjective is a noun binder. Alane, sincere and polite, which are also adjectives. I join it to noun. Now joining with this so good john sincere john pilot john all are all are possible because let me change this okay so these three are possible because they are adjectives and when you see here what i'm trying to do is it more adjectives ni kalipi rase tappudu i'm using comma and and i'm trying to do this good sincere and polite are three adjectives all the three are binded to the noun john okay so nen ela chestunanu comma and and use chesi ila join chesi raayadaniki it it becomes easy and convenient for me so how many do i see here i am just still seeing only one segment this is still one segment okay i'm just seeing just one segment so using comma and you can add multiple binders to a noun therefore comma inka and ni kuda manamu noun binders antamu see where do we use a comma like when we have many nouns when we have many things many names like for example my brother my sister and my father so you see a brother sister father now three nouns right now i'm combining three nouns using the power of comma and so therefore you can use comma and add and add multiple binders to a single noun so therefore we treat comma of as non binders now another interesting concept as you can look here is of of is a very interesting preposition in english language of is special because of ki left side and of ki right side kachithanga noun ostundi you will definitely see a noun on the left and on the right of of so actually this is john of school so the rule for of is whenever you see of noun of noun you will treat it as a noun segment so this is the noun segment here why because that is a binder rule binder segment rule for of kani john vidiga raledu john gurto vachindi and then good is binded with john so what we'll do is we'll treat good john of school together everything is just one segment this is basically noun of noun kani noun ki binder kuda ochindi so john ki binder ochinattu school ki kuda binder ravachu so i added elementary here so good john of now elementary school that's another noun with binder but the rule of of says that everything is a single binder so i just don't see john there i see a john who is a good boy and who is studying in a elementary school now all of this is just one piece of information to me but it is detailed it's detailed because of binders so ikkada aim led just using comma and of see you can see just to john how many details i can add i can add that he is good sincere and polite using comma and or using of i can say that he is john of school and to john i can add binders and to school also i can add further binders now let's let's me let me add another uh, set of binders like john i can say good a uh, good john polite john of now i am adding another binder here community elementary school so actually the school is the noun here okay john is the noun here and of is the binder so basically adi john of school anamata kani polite binder john ko ichindi community elementary ani two um adjective binders school ko ichindi so together this is entirely one segment so what is the rule with segment oka segment ఒక బ్రీత్లో చదవాలి పొలైట్ జాన్ ఆఫ్ కమ్యూనిటీ ఎలిమెంటరీ స్కూల్ ఓకే ఇన్ వన్ బ్రెత్ యూ రీడ్ వన్ సెగ్మెంట్ దాట్ ఈస్ ద బ్యూటీ ఆఫ్ రీడింగ్ యూజింగ్ ఎంఎంఎన్ ఓకే సో హౌ డూ అవర్ రూల్స్ లుక్ లైక్ లెట్స్ గో బ్యాక్ 
to the rules page okay so these are the mmn rules so under non binders now i'm adding and comma comma as in comma here and off write this in your rules page so the next non binder is preposition the rule with preposition is whenever a preposition comes it will be immediately followed by a noun so we have set of prepositions here like in along across for and near now the prepositions are followed by the noun like in room along road across river for development near temple of course binders like articles can come in between but yet we still treat them as all nouns like a room the road the river the development the temple these are the nouns after the preposition you get the nouns maybe with their binders but still we treat them together as a noun so in a room other ko preposition segment we treat it completely as a preposition noun segment preposition noun preposition noun preposition noun and again here preposition and noun so in a room along the road across the river for the development near the temple this is how when you apply preposition as an mmn rule this is how you should identify the segments within a sentence okay so if i compound these rules now to the room i can add many binders right now by now we have many binders article is a binder adjective is a binder or pronoun comma of so what i try to do is i can add multiple uh, segments like this like in okay in a dark room along the wide road the deep river the for fast development the old development now we have an uh, article adjective which are binders for this noun this is article adjective binder for this noun alane ikkada kuda so veet annitni kalpi oka preposition ki manam malli combine cheyochu so we get a bigger noun segments like in a dark room ad oka segment how is it's a preposition segment in and room along and road across and river in between you can get as many binders as you want like i can still say along my wide road across our deep river for their fast development near his old temple so i can make you know any combinations of binders i can make it bigger and better but finally it starts with a preposition and it ends with a noun and dani motham oka preposition segment anannali so you can see the segment rules here like you can get a preposition and noun majjalo you can get an article adjective noun or you can simply get uh, you know preposition adjective noun also now if you see this article adjective noun is independently a compound segment adjective noun is independently a noun segment kani la preposition tho kalpi kuda oka noun noun and preposition aithe raavachchu noun tana binders tho kalpi kuda preposition tho raavachchu that is a segment rule okay i want you to write just this two uh, in your segment rules page okay good so if you see uh, let me do it with pronouns now like okay that, that, like i said before in my dark room along their wide road across a deep river for the fast development near your old temple what i'm trying to do is simple is very simple again you know just preposition and noun but yes i got a pronoun binder for the noun this time okay these are further examples okay you may write these examples in your notes and i want you to write this in your segments rules page i'm adding preposition under noun binders since that's a new noun binder that we have learnt okay so we just left with three more non binders to be learned so let's go to conjunction so we already know that conjunctions help in joining to nouns or to sentences that's what a conjunction does right so so it, it is very clear that you know like conjunction already is joining to nouns so whenever you get a conjunction it means you already have two nouns there like for example the conjunction and now i have two nouns ram and ravi ram ravi went to school is wrong ram and ravi went to school so how i treat is ram and ravi i treat it as a noun segment because in this segment i have two nouns and they are joined by a conjunction 
the same goes here butter milk are needed is wrong we say butter and milk are needed or i can add binders like bitter butter and sweet milk are needed and i use a hook to indicate that these two nouns are joined by the conjunction and the same goes here development and persistence are needed fast development and sincere persistence are needed so basically it is development persistence and they are joined by and but this time we say it is sincere persistence and fast development they are joined okay yes so that entirely is a one big noun segment fast development and sincere persistence okay so therefore i can safely say that conjunctions are absolutely non binders because they do join nouns so uh, i can give you further examples like he is sick he writes cycle he is sick and he writes cycle he is sick but he writes cycle though he is sick yet he writes cycle although he is sick he writes cycle now in conjunctions like this which are underlined in blue like and but though yet although uh now these conjunctions are compound conjunctions compound conjunctions ante avi sentences ni join chestayi now as as we saw in this previous example which is and and is the only conjunction that joins two nouns but the rest they join to sentences so ila sentences vachhe tappudu conjunctions ni manam ela indicate cheyali using mm ante we use a hook then hook antaru so idantha oka sentence ee sentence ni ee sentences ni and join chestundi ఈ సెంటెన్స్ని ఈ సెంటెన్స్ని బట్ జాయిన్ చేస్తుంది సో ఇలా గుర్తించాలన్నమాట ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఫస్ట్ సెంటెన్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద సెకండ్ సెంటెన్స్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఫస్ట్ సెంటెన్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద సెకండ్ సెంటెన్స్ ఆల్ ద హుక్ కమ్స్ హియర్ ఓకే సో ద జాబ్ ఆఫ్ కంజక్షన్ ఈస్ టు జాయిన్ టు నౌన్స్ ఆర్ టు సెంటెన్సెస్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నౌన్స్ వీ ట్రీట్ దెమ్ టుగెదర్ యాజ్ వన్ సెగ్మెంట్ ఆర్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్స్ టు సెంటెన్సెస్ వీ యూజ్ హుక్ to break the sentence into two sentences so and but though yet although so as therefore because since now again you know the same way right we have two sentences here okay he is poor he must work hard now i am using so or i am using as or i am using therefore i am using because now what i am trying to do is i am just joining two sentences two sentences here and again two sentences here so all the list of conjunctions that we have learned essentially they join two sentences and our two sentences ni manam uh, we do it like this like uh, sentence 1 uh, then we use a hook and then say this is sentence 2 at the hook you will have a conjunction okay like this got it okay so uh and the other conjunctions as you know from the conjunctions video that all the conjunctions basically we can include in this list so when you see a conjunction within a sentence this is how you'll do the mmn segmentation for that all right so uh important we must consider segmentations for two sentences as i said when you see conjunctions okay so what does that mean is see this is how uh, like this is sentence 1 this is sentence 2 right okay so e sentence ki e sentence ki vidiga mmn chestam anamata deeniki vidiga chestamu deeniki vidiga chestamu we do segments for this and also we do segments for these sentences also okay how we do segmentation we have not covered yet but just remember that when you have a conjunction in a sentence we do segmentation independently for the two sentences okay right the same goes here you know we see the two sentences uh and uh, we must break them into segments separately and we join them using a hook like this that's the rule for conjunction so you may want to write these examples in your notes under conjunctions so that's the rule you use a hook 
this is how you use the hook and join sentence one and sentence two correct that's right so let us add conjunction to the list of non binders in your binders page right so now we have uh, the next set of binders who where when and which so let's get started who where when which are four words that act as binders for example look at this simple sentence the man is standing now the man uh, the man is a person a name so I'll try to use who for a name and look what I'm trying to do the man I use a comma and then I started using who then I told something here and then I ended it with a comma and then Tarvata again it continued from is standing that means if I did not write this segment the sentence is still complete right the man is standing is a complete sentence here it is still the man is standing but right after the man since man is a name or a person I'm trying to use who and add some details so what does who the who does is who adds detail to a person like it already a noun the man and a noun a man or who and end of because it's a person and I am adding some detail what is the detail who came yesterday to my home that's the detail and it ends with a comma is standing so we it what is sentence segmentation this entirely from the man who came to my home yesterday is standing till here it's a segment the same goes here this place yesterday the pen now these all are nouns but depending upon the type of noun either you use who where when or which who is for a noun which is a name where is for place that's what we say here where is for place when is for time which is for thing so they are good pet call ante. name place time thing who where when which got it okay make references for the right ones when you write these words who where when which name place time thing now let's look how we do segmentation here this place is terrible this place where the milk is spilled all over is terrible now I am adding some detail to the place are the place palu koncham padi unna chota so I detail in add just now okay alane yesterday yesterday then school will not put nenu kalsano yesterday when I was going to school I met her so this is the additional detail you are adding how am I able to add this detail the when is binded with yesterday where is binded with place who is binded with man Alane which is binded with the pen the pen is expensive the pen which is uh, which is I'm sorry make mention is here which is in blue color is expensive got it so what are the segments are like the segment the men the pen which is in blue color yesterday when I was going to school this place where the milk is spilled all over these are the noun segments okay so these are the rules for who where when which the noun till the detail ends you detail a end out when one of the other comma choose on a chap which auxiliary verb start out on the like you could the man there the auxiliary verb which in the a man and auxiliary verb which a gap low manum detail at just some pretty chota okay like in this case it was subject 
సో అలా నెక్స్ట్ సెగ్మెంట్ స్టార్ట్ అయ్యే వరకు ఆ డీటెయిల్ వస్తుంది అని చెప్పొచ్చు ఒకటి కామా చూసన్న చెప్పొచ్చు లేదంటే నెక్స్ట్ సెగ్మెంట్ స్టార్ట్ అవుతుందంటే ఈ ఈ డీటెయిల్ అక్కడ ఎండ్ అయిపోయింది అన్నట్టు సో ఆ నౌన్ ఇంకా తన డీటెయిల్స్ యూజింగ్ హూ వేర్ వెన్ విచ్ వరకు ఒకటే సెగ్మెంట్ లాగా ట్రీట్ చేయాలి ఓకే ఓకే ప్లీజ్ రైట్ దీస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో అండర్లైన్ ద నౌన్ సెగ్మెంట్స్ యాజ్ యూ యాజ్ యూ సీ హియర్ ఓకే లెట్ మీ క్లియర్ దిస్ ఫర్ యూ so this is a noun segment this is a noun segment okay so uh, who where when which they help in adding extra detail to the noun and notice that name place time thing are all nouns but depending on the type of the noun we you know we need to use the right word so this is how the segment after underlining will look like we have the nouns here we have the nouns here and this is the detail that you underline and then the rest of the sentence okay that's how the segments must be underlined when you see these words train your eye remember these words carefully the moment you see them in a sentence you must pick them out and look for which noun they are binded with and where that extra detail ends and underline together as one noun segment okay so let us add the words who where when which to our binder page and you may want to add this to your segments page we have just one under noun binders which is called phrase of adverb now this is a very interesting concept so let's look here we have a simple sentence it started raining now right before the sentence starts i can insert an adverb this is an adverb because it ends with ly as we know before from the adverb video that suddenly is an adverb right before the sentence even started i am adding suddenly here right now suddenly it started raining so what i try to do is i i just underline suddenly as a segment because it is starting even before the sentence starts okay sometimes instead of suddenly now look here i have a group of words that come even before the sentence starts the actual sentence starts here right this is the actual sentence but i have a group of words that are coming right before the sentence starts so idu ela ankochu ante suddenly ela sentence mundu vachindo suddenly chotu ee group of words vachindi suddenly it started raining డ్యూ టు మాన్సూన్ సీజన్ ఇట్ స్టార్ట్ డ్రైనింగ్ అంటే ఈ సడన్లీని ఇది రిప్లేస్ చేసినట్టు మనం అనుకోవచ్చు సో సడన్లీ వాజ్ రిప్లేస్డ్ విత్ డ్యూ టు మాన్సూన్ రైట్ వీ నో దట్ సడన్లీ ఇస్ అన్ అడ్వర్బ్ డ్యూ టు మాన్సూన్ ఈజ్ అ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ ఈ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ అడ్వర్బ్ చోటు వచ్చింది కాబట్టి దే ఆర్ ఆల్సో యాక్టింగ్ యాజ్ అడ్వర్బ్ సో గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ యాక్టింగ్ లైక్ అడ్వర్బ్స్ సో గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ which is acting of adverbs are called as phrase of adverb phrase means group of words so group of words ikkada oka sentence start ayye munde raavachu anamata ila so idi oka adverb ani enduku antaram ante suddenly ela oka adverb laga vastundo ee group of words kuda oka adverb laga start undi anesi deni manam phrase of adverb ani antamu so the rule for phrase of adverb endante sentence ikkada start avutundo దానికన్నా ముందే ఆ మొత్తం ఫ్రేస్ ఆఫ్ అడ్వర్బ్ని మనం ఒక సెగ్మెంట్గా గుర్తించాలి దెర్ విల్ బీ కామా ఆఫ్టర్ ఫ్రేస్ ఆఫ్ అడ్వర్బ్ ఓకే లెట్ సీ హియర్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ హౌ ఇట్ లుక్ సడన్లీని ఎట్లా అండర్లైన్ చేస్తున్నామో డ్యూ టు మాన్సూన్ సీజన్ని కూడా అలానే సెగ్మెంట్స్గా అండర్లైన్ చేయాలి ఓకే ద ఫ్రేస్ ఆఫ్ అడ్వర్బ్ మస్ట్ బీ ట్రీటెడ్ యాజ్ ఎ ఎమెంట్ సెగ్మెంట్ అండ్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ బిఫోర్ ద బిగినింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద సెంటెన్స్ write this slide and the examples in your notes under phrase of adverb so 
So there are other phrase of adverbs that I wanted to show you here. This is phrase, I'm sorry. So there are four ways of a phrase of adverbs in Ella Gurtin Chali. There are four easy ways that you can immediately identify. Phrase of adverbs undi and first kanu ko alante sentence lona first first time we know that phrase of adverbs achna puru comma ostundi ekado majjalo right so e comma achya anta varaku mana ela gurtinchali that idi oka phrase of adverb anedi koncham tricky ga untadi so the easy trick entante ee four words gurtu pettukovali conjunction preposition gerund participle Conjunction, preposition, gerund, participle. Oka sentence generally conjunction to model of adu, preposition to kodo model of adu, gerund and participle to kodo model of adu. Oka auxiliary verb tarvatane gerund and a participle and a ravachu. Alane preposition kodo sentence majolo neostundi, conjunction surrender sentence majolo stundi, starting lo radu. Generally. So ala vustuna yante adi phrase of adverb and ardam jeshes koali. So first word manam chodali ikkada because undi because oka conjunction alani ikkada chudandi to to oka preposition driving it's a gerund spoken that's a participle so these are the indicators that ee sentence lo oka phrase of adverb undi so ala sentence first word conjunction preposition gerund participle unte adi phrase of adverb so, if you have a phrase of adverb, you can identify the comma of the phrase of phrase of adverb. You can identify the comma of the phrase of adverb. You can identify the comma So, let us read these sentences. Because of weather conditions, it started raining. To make things worse, it started raining. Driving into the beach, it started raining. Spoken by the reporter, it started raining. So, if you notice, the sentence is same, it started raining. This is the actual sentence. Can you sentence mundun and extra detail add chegal gano? How? Just by starting them with a conjunction, preposition, gerund, or participle. So, there are four kinds of phrase of adverbs, and this is how you can identify them. This is how you must identify the segments also. Sentence starting, e four words to start out there, a comma and a and the work, a segment ka gurthinche underline chayali. Phrase of adverbs ni segments ga ilane rasta man mata. Please write this. Right, so phrase of adverbs how to identify if the word starts with conjunction, preposition, gerund, or participle, we can identify easily. These are additional examples that you can write to help you understand better how to identify the phrase of adverbs right at the beginning of the sentence. Take these examples. I can I can actually read it for you. You know, uh, he came late. That's the actual sentence. Wear helmet before driving. He looked happily into my eyes. The thief looked very tired. Now I can add like using a conjunction. Since he was weak, he came late. To avoid injuries, wear a helmet before driving. Turning to me, he looked happily into my eyes. Beaten by the villagers, the thief looked very tired. So just by adding the phrase of adverbs, I am able to add more detail to the existing sentence. Take these examples. Okay, so that completes the list of noun binders for us. So by now you should have a very fair understanding of how the noun binders come together with their nouns and how to underline the noun segments using these noun binders now we have only two more binders left which are verb binders and adjective binders and as you can see they are very simple 
adverbs and adverbs are common here because a can adverb can talk about a verb and an adverb can also talk about an adjective the only thing you got to remember exclusively about a verb is to so let's jump into verb binders now before we learn about to as a verb binder we must understand that to is a preposition correct so to being a preposition after preposition you get a noun that's what we learned under noun binders right you get a noun after preposition but here we are telling that to is a verb binder so what does that mean it means that to can get a noun after it or even a verb after it and to is the only preposition that can get a verb after that so let us look here to understand better he is running running is a verb he is running to catch now i used to and i inserted another verb catch the bus or look at this one he he exercises to reduce weight exercises verb reduce is also verb verb to verb he came to meet me he was beaten to tell the truth so the segment is verb to verb that's a segment so you may want to write this under the segments page and write these examples in your notes under verb binders for two so verb binders the next one is adverbs why is an adverb a verb binder let's see here and you'll understand better he is running running is a verb now he is running slowly slowly is binded with running it's not binded with is it's not binded with he the word slowly exists in this sentence for running an adverb defines a verb an adverb cannot be without a verb therefore adverb inka verb ni oka verb segment ga gurtinchali they are coming that's a verb they are coming angrily so verb adverb verb and adverb together is a verb segment she was singing she was singing sweetly singing sweetly is a verb segment so the segment rule is adverb and verb write this under your notes for examples for adverb as a verb binder and mention adverb verb as a segment in your segments page now there are other additional verb segments that i want you to consider apart from to and adverb we have looked in the linear and conditionals video that after verb you can get a noun which is the object like eating what am i eating i'm eating banana now the banana is binded with eating although banana is a noun it is binded with eating so we say eating banana together is a verb segment alane doing homework watching tv these all are verb segments so verb tan tarvata vache object noun can be binded together as verb segment similarly verb preposition and noun flying and sky in the sky flying in the sky now if you see here this is a verb you get a preposition and then you get the noun sometimes you get the noun directly after verb sometimes you get verb then you get a preposition and then you get a noun in any case deeni oka verb segment antam deeni kuda oka verb segment antam ikkada preposition ochina tarvata noun ela na vastadi that we already know from preposition as a noun binder however here all the three are coming together and we treat them as a verb segment and verb noun also as a verb segment so dancing on the floor we underlined it as one noun segment sleeping on the bed we underline it as one verb segment so what are the segments the segments are verb and noun is a segment verb preposition noun is also segment to this noun 
वेरे अब्जेक्टिव आर्टिकल प्रोनौन ऐड चुस्कुँ दट दोज आर् आलो वर्ब से सग्मेंट्स बट बेसिकली वर्ब नौन सेगमेंट वर्ब प्रिपोजिशन नौन वो सग्मेंट ओके रईट दिस् स्ल फर् युर एग्जापल अंड मेन दिस् टू इन द सेगमेंट पेज अंडर वर्ब से सग्मेंट्स so considering the same examples as verb noun and verb preposition noun you can get something like this that like instead of noun oka pronoun 3 raavachu a noun badalu oka pronoun 3 raavachu like eating food eating it singing it dancing on it flying you know in the sky you can replace it with something else so helping me helping her verb తర్వాత నౌన్ కానీ ఇది ప్రొనౌన్ త్రీ వచ్చింది ప్రొనౌన్ త్రీ కూడా ఒక సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ ఫర్ అ నౌనే కాబట్టి ఈ వర్బ్ అండ్ ప్రొనౌన్ త్రీని మనం ఒక వర్బ్ సెగ్మెంట్గానే గుర్తించాలి అలానే టాకింగ్ టు మీ సో వర్బ్ ప్రిపోజిషన్ నౌన్ వచ్చేది కానీ ఇక్కడ వర్బ్ ప్రిపోజిషన్ ప్రొనౌన్ త్రీ వచ్చింది ఇక్కడ కూడా అలానే వర్బ్ ప్రిపోజిషన్ నౌన్ రావాలి ప్లేయింగ్ విత్ హర్ ప్లేయింగ్ విత్ టెడ్ అని రాకుండా ప్లేయింగ్ విత్ హర్ అని వచ్చింది సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ నౌన్ వీ గౌట్ అ ప్రొనౌన్ త్రీ సో ఒక వర్బ్ ప్రొనౌన్ త్రీ ఒక వర్బ్ సెగ్మెంటే లేదంటే వర్బ్ ప్రిపోజిషన్ ప్రొనౌన్ త్రీ అయినా కూడా వర్బ్ సెగ్మెంటే రైట్ దెన్ సో దాట్ కంప్లీట్స్ ద వర్బ్ బైండర్స్ ఆల్సో టు adverb nouns or pronoun 3 okay so we finished non binders completely and we finished verb binders and also their segments now finally let's have a small glance at adjective binders which is only adverbs so adjective binders lo ok adverbs an endu kantam ante adverb kuda ok adjective gurinche cheptundi for example he is good good is an adjective he is very good so very okay at uh, it's an adverb right they are nice this is adjective they are quite nice that's an adverb again i will be punctual i will be punctual later a punctual is adjective and later is adverb so oka okay, adjective ni ఇంకా ఎక్కువ డీటెయిల్ యాడ్ చేయడానికి మనం ఒక అడ్వర్బ్ హెల్ప్ యూజ్ చేసుకుంటున్నాం అంటే ఈ అబ్జెక్టివ్ లేకపోతే ఈ అడ్వర్బ్ వచ్చి ఉండేదే కాదు సో అడ్వర్బ్ అబ్జెక్టివ్ వల్లనే వస్తుంది కాబట్టి అబ్జెక్టివ్ అడ్వర్బ్ ఎప్పుడు కలిసి ఉండేనట్టు మనం బైండ్ అండ్ బైండర్ సెగ్మెంట్ చేసి చెప్తున్నాము అందుకని ఒక అబ్జెక్టివ్ ఇంకా అడ్వర్బ్ ఒక బైండర్ సెగ్మెంట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద లాస్ట్ సెగ్మెంట్ రూల్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ లర్న్ రైట్ దీస్ అండర్ యువర్ నోట్స్ ఫార్ అబ్జెక్టివ్ బైండర్స్ mention a heading adjective binders in your segments page also and mention this one segment so we can make bigger segments by combining all the non verb and adjective rules like this like let's say he is a boy now boy is a noun i can add adjective as a binder to boy and it make it he is a good boy now to this adjective i can add an adverb so noun ke adjective add ayindi adjective ke adverb add ayindi got it that gives this big noun segment very good boy so idi kuda oka segment laga manam treat chesukochu like adverb adjective and noun that's one segment again here we have the same segment she is a cute girl indeed girl noun adjective and adverb all together we treat them as one noun segment write these examples in your notes and mention this in adverb segments for adjective so that completes our entire list of binders 
and segments so finally this is how your binders page should look like okay so this is how your segments page should look like okay F first let's have a recap quick recap article noun we underline as a segment adjective noun or pronoun noun when i combine these rules i can get an article adjective noun or a pronoun adjective noun comma and offs i can use multiple nouns on multiple binders using comma and and or if i using off i can get a noun off noun as a noun segment alane who where when which the noun comma who detail entirely till here i treat it as a noun segment conjunctions sentence 1 and sentence 2 will be together treated as a noun segment and also phrase of adverb if a sentence starts with a conjunction preposition gerund or participle look for the detail and look where it ends until the comma and treat them as one noun segment so these are the verb segments page a verb to verb or adverb verb or i can add adverb to these verbs and make it as adverb verb to adverb verb a bigger segments similarly with a verb noun or a verb preposition noun or i can replace these nouns with pronoun 3 those are the rules for verb segments and finally the adjective segments the adverb and the adjective come together or the adverb and adjective and the noun can come together so we are done with the mmn rules and segments class congratulations for hanging along this long and learning the concepts so your homework is write down the entire mmn rules table along with the given examples once and write the mmn segments table twice kevin spoken english ki subscribe cheyandi ee channel lo maatrame meeku english inta easy ga and best explanations tho telugu lo dorukutayi alane kevin's spoken english complete learning system playlist lo unna prathi video ni follow cheyandi english lo meeru suluvaga maatladagalugutaru